Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our divine feminines. All right, so all of our DF Empress High Priestess energy only. If you in any way at all identify the divine masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you. All right, let us go ahead you all and jump right into the reading. Let us see what the messages are that spirit has here for Joel on today. Let us go ahead and get into it. Let us see. Let us see. Message. Message. <laughs> All right. So we have the Queen of Cups pre-shuffle as the underlying energy and I love you. Okay. So yeah, take the sex out of it. This person feels like they love you deeply. Okay. They love you deeply. All right, and this may be something that they have not said in full or they have not expressed to the extent of which they love you, you know? All right, let us see. Ooh. The sun card, all right? So you make this person extremely happy. I feel like this is also just someone who has high energy levels. This person feels like it's an easy decision. If they had to choose between you or anyone, it's you. Don't ever question that, okay? That shouldn't ever be something you're thinking about. Well, what about this and what about that? It's not a what about thing. You are this person's happiness, okay? <clears throat> there is no other option. Yeah, we got the page of cups. This is apology, reconciliation. If at any point you felt this person was trying to put you in competition with anyone else, they know that's not something you do. Six of Swords is moving on, moving ahead, or moving past something. So this person is like, let's just put that behind us. They are, you know, wanting to move forward with you, wanting to ascend, wanting to take this relationship to the next level. Two major arcanas so far. Let us see for our divine feminines. Ace of Cups. Okay, so a brand new love offer comes in from this person. Ace of Wands as the underlining. They feel like they have to do something immediately. They have to say something immediately. They have to express themselves in a certain way. And whatever it is that they do, it has to be what? Immediately. Okay. Two of Cups, soulmate energy. They feel like you are their perfect person. Okay. If there ever were a such thing for them, you are that. That is how this person feels. They are convinced there is no telling them otherwise. Okay. They feel like this is something that is meant to be okay because spirit continues to guide them in your direction this person ultimately is searching for higher purpose closer connection to source with the chariot it's just this continues to lead to ace of cups two of cups with you okay so that's what they're getting at here all right <clears throat> Let us see what else wants to come out. Hangman as the underline, and they are stuck on you. Feel like they can't get you out of their mind. Also, something here about them looking at something finally from a different perspective. This person could have been someone that was stuck in their ways or set in their ways. What they felt was just what it was. What they thought is just what it was. You know, you couldn't really change their mind unless they themselves felt like they wanted to change it. Okay. So, yeah, we have the page of swords. Now, you have them curious. You make them wonder because they feel like you are full of magic or magical energy, okay? Energy, energy, energy. And they'll be like, you know, it's my energy. It's my inner goddess, okay? So, yeah, that's what it is. It's the goddess in you. It's the god in you. It's the solar energy. So, remember, take the sex out of it. First, we saw the queen. Now, we see the king, okay? Two of cups energy. Two people coming together saying, I'm very loving or I'm very affectionate or I'm very romantic and... I feel like my energy would be reciprocated with you. I know it would, okay? So this is a mutual feeling that the two of you have. Let us get deeper into it. Let us see. Knight of Cups is commitment, relationship, okay? This person wants to start a relationship with you. Yeah, judgment. This is their decision on the situation. They feel like they want to start a relationship with you or they want to be in a relationship with you because you make them happy. You make them happy and they feel like they want to contribute to your happiness as well in any way where they can be of assistance to you, support you, love you through your journey of life. They want to do that. Okay. 
So this is a really beautiful energy. Two major arcanas coming out together. So it's like a major arcana clarifies a major arcana. So when it comes to what this person thinks and feels about you in this connection, they feel this is their happy place. All right. Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups? About four swords all right this person feels a little sick to their stomach right now and in order to ease themselves in order to uh, stop the pain or to <laughs> stop their mind from running so anxiously they feel like they're going to have to reconcile with you they're going to have to express their truth their truth is you know there was a lot of internal conflict or maybe even some factors outside of myself outside of my control that constantly you know attempted to stand in the way of this connection but i refuse to allow it to do so with the ace of swords and justice this is me wanting to do right by you this is me wanting to do the right thing okay so this is what they feel now this could have come from spirit, you know, hanging this person upside down by the ankles and saying, now do you see the situation? Now do you see how this person feels? Now do you get it? Because six of swords is distance. So you could have put some distance on it and then they put some respect on it. Like, oh, okay, you're not playing about you. When you show somebody that you're not playing about you, you're not playing about your love, you're not playing about your heart, your energy, your body, your mind, they have no choice but to respect that because if they don't, they cannot be a part of your life. So if they want to be a part of your life, they're going to show you that they respect you. Okay. So we have the six of swords energy. Yeah. All right. Death card, transformation, rebirth. This person could have had an ego death. Okay. This could be someone who has a huge ego and they like to believe that the world revolves around them, even though it doesn't. They know it doesn't, truthfully speaking, but they like to believe that it does. Okay, they like to believe that. So the strength card, strength card here with a chariot, all right? Chariot is all about, like I said, ascending, leveling up, um, going to the next level in life, but also in the connection, okay? So the strength card represents grace, power, dignity, integrity, okay? So this person feels like although you moved on or although there's distance between you, you didn't do it in a disrespectful way. You never spoke ill on their name or this or that. So with the will of fortune, again, they feel like it's a faded connection, a destined connection. And it's also represents shifts and changes. I feel like you're going to start seeing shifts and changes in their behavior, the way that they treat you, the way they act towards you, how they pursue you, different things like that. Because with the ace of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles, this person feels like you're the one that they want to propose to. You're the one that they want to build a life with. OK, again, because you're someone who knows how to respect yourself and your boundaries. OK, boundaries being you will not play with my heart. OK, you will not play with my emotions. OK, so someone sees that they cannot do that. Yeah, because Queen of Swords, you will gladly be like, OK, not a problem. I'll remove myself and it doesn't matter what your sign is because so far we saw uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Right. But Four of Wands is Union, 11-11, Twin Flame Energy. Coming home, resting, relaxing, after putting in a lot of work, okay? After travel, mm -hmm, after whatever it is that you're doing, okay? So again, this person could be coming towards you. Six of Swords is a, a distance, okay? So they may have to travel a distance, or this is you. Eight of Cups, Justice. Someone feels like although they wouldn't want you to emotionally withdraw permanently in the event that you decided that's what you wanted to do like you drew that line in the sand they will have no choice but to respect you it's like it's no love lost on either end and they know that because the two of cups is a very like i said insane chemistry and it's mutual okay so it goes both ways you love them and you feel passionately toward them they love you they feel passionately toward you okay you respect them they respect you you um Honor their opinion. They honor your opinion. Cherish their opinion and things like that. Vice versa. You know? So we have... What is this? The lovers coming out to clarify the Ace of Cups. Do you understand? Okay. The lovers. Divine counterparts. Divine feminine and masculine energy. Okay. Here on the board next to the Two of Cups. So twin flame soulmates. This person feels like if they're going to make this romantic offer to anyone, if they're going to put their pride aside for anyone, it's going to be their divine counterpart. And that's what I'm always telling you guys. You know, divine masculine is going to put the work in for the right person. That's what they're going to do because they're going to feel pulled and called to do that. Okay. So 
Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is emotional withdrawal, okay? Saying, you know what? Something is missing from this connection. What's missing from this connection? Respect. What we will not allow to be missing from myself, my dignity, my integrity. You get what I'm saying? And if I feel like something goes against that, goes against my moral code or whatever, then it's a no for me. Eight of Cups, I have no problem. Look, I love you with all my soul, but that's a no for me. I cannot compromise my soul. I cannot compromise my morals for you, for anyone. And because of that, this person is like, oh, Ten of Swords in reverse, you will gladly end it because Ten of Swords is an abrupt ending at that. Like you're like, oh, nope, I wasn't being treated right. You know, this is one day going from, you know, uh, hanging out every single day, eating at your favorite places, spending time with each other's peoples, and then just disconnecting. What happened? Something happened. They disrespected you. They called you out your name. They did something. And, you know, it was just like it was enough. All it took was that one thing, you know, five of swords. And he was like, oh, that's it. So this person is like, if I don't want to lose them, this is how I have to come. So this person is definitely choosing to come correct, choosing to come all the way proper, okay? Otherwise, four of cups, they know it's not going to be good enough for you. They can't bring you, you know, like a half apology, you know? It can't bring you anything like that. It has to be something that's sincere, something that's authentic, something that's genuine, because, <laughs> because you can see through their truth. You can see through their truth. You can see through their lies. So you know what's what. Two of Swords, blind faith. She has the blindfold on. I'm just going to trust my intuition. You see the moon in the back. The sky is clear. Okay? In the event that something were to come toward me, I know it because I feel it. I sense it. And I'm going to just go with what I feel. Okay, the Queen of Cups, again, intuitive person, very psychic energy. So just going with what I feel. If it feels good, then I'll trust it. If it doesn't feel good, then I won't. Simple as that. So, yeah, there's communication coming in, and you're going to have to go with what you feel. Is it authentic? Is it truthful? Is it false? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this person feels like you're very stable, grounded, dependable, reliable very loving again but that you're also willing to move on okay you're willing to move on because somebody who's dependable reliable all this other stuff is going to want the same thing in return we have the queen of cups very loving nurturing energy between the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups you're extremely nurturing that may be their favorite thing about you how nurturing you are but you are not going to like stroke their ego or baby them or anything like that just so they can feel they got their way when they're the only ones getting something out of it because that's the five of swords energy. It's like someone being conniving. They get what they want, but what do you get? So that doesn't work for you, right? So eight of wands and eight of pentacles is them expressing to you that they are willing to put in the work, whatever the work is, okay? The work could be as simple as uh, consistent effort, okay, in a way that doesn't cross your boundaries, okay? We got the Page of Swords with the Ten of Wands in reverse. So, <laughs> you know how to be like, uh, drop them like a bad habit or something like that. This is how the person feels. They feel like you will not hesitate to drop them like a bad habit okay you will not at all and see willpower <laughs> willpower is serious and not everybody has the same level you know and all that of willpower but whoever i'm talking to your willpower is very serious so if you're determined to do something that's what you're going to do it's no questions about it doesn't matter if you love someone or not and there's a lot of love here we have the two of cups, we have the lovers. But the way you're coming, feminine, girl. Okay, let us see. We have the magician, the seven of pentacles, okay, and the king of cups. They feel like they've been sowing seeds of love. They've been sowing seeds of love, and that's the only thing they intend on continuing to do. <laughs> that's the only thing they plan on doing. Six of pentacles is reciprocity, again, because... What they do know is that if there's anybody that deserves them to put their pride to the side, they feel like it's you. So they want to express their truth and be vulnerable and let you know how it is that they feel, that they want to reunite and, 
you know, that they apologize and they'll be accountable wherever they need to. Whatever they did, they'll say they did it. Whatever they didn't do, they say they didn't do it. You know, like they just want to, <laughs> to be honest. They want to take the mask off. They want to not run from you, okay? All right, so let us see. We have love and we have I love you. Yeah, there's a lot of love here, all right? A lot of love. Love and I love you? Yeah. There's a lot of love here, you guys, okay? Between you and your person. So let us see. What are the messages? I miss you. Okay. We have afraid. Yeah, see, they're afraid that once they start telling their truth and taking this mask off, that you may not like what you see. You may not like what you see underneath this mask, you know? So they're like, when I choose to follow my bliss, I'm led to you. I want you to do the things that make you happy and that fill your cup, regardless of what I'm doing, you know? What makes you feel good? Do those things. Okay, spend time with loved ones. Go out. Let go of fear, okay? Let your hair down. Have some fun, okay? Dance, I'm hearing. Some of you like to dance and just choose not to. You need to. It's a good way to release. All right, this person feels like you are safe with them. They really want for you to... Mm. This is so funny. Wow, the way that this is coming out. Let me show you guys. Y'all are going to crack up. All right, so with Afraid, it's about them not wanting to take their mask off because they don't want you to see them for who they really are and then change your mind on loving them, right? As if that's really going to happen with your twin. And then with this let go of fear thing, they like, listen, put your wall down. There's nothing that you could ever say or do that's going to make me stop loving you. I love you unconditionally. King of Cups. And you're the Queen of Cups. So y'all are funny. Y'all are both saying the same thing and both being afraid to show the other person who you really are out of fear that they're not going to like it but those things that you're not saying those things that you're not doing is exactly why the two of you are so drawn to each other and you can sense that about each other but you're continuing to hide it out of fear whatever these things are okay so they want for you to share what it is that you feel what it is that you go through what it is that's happening in your life and not worry about judgment from them or them saying oh nope i don't like them no more i don't love them no more because that's not necessarily ever going to be the case okay whether you guys are in union or not okay so this time apart card like i said the two of you six of swords you know at a distance right now okay silence too not speaking to this person for a lot of you okay not speaking to this person, haven't heard from this person, and they're like, sorry, okay, put yourself whichever side it goes, whether you're the one not speaking or you're the one not responding, whichever way it goes, okay? We have daydream, person keeps thinking of you, okay, fantasizing of being together again, reuniting, okay, waiting for the moment, waiting for the day, yes, they're very hopeful, hopeful that it will happen soon, okay? They feel like they are slowly but surely opening up, and they want you to see this, okay, because they are doing their best okay yeah here and now and soulmate oh yeah they feel like they've already met their soulmate they've already met the person that they want to be with and in any way like i said that they can support you that's what they want to do okay in any way that they can be there for you that's what they want to do see boundaries you set firm boundaries with this person Okay, let us see what's going on. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Okay? So you are accepting everything as it is in the moment. And with doing that, it may seem to your person as if you are Eight of Cups walking away from them, abandoning them. But it's not that because Eight of Cups could represent abandonment. So this person may feel like at times you abandon them and that's not the case. See, we have acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Right? So it's like, again, that's the ego. Oh, you're abandoning me. Okay, so you didn't do anything to cross that line for feminine to just turn around and walk away. Feminine just walked away. It just happened like that. You see what I'm saying? They always like to skip over that part, right? So it's like, go back to what caused this person to do what they did. Let's go back to that part, you know? Everything happens for a reason. 
let's accept it so we have the here and now and leap of faith okay so again once this person comes to this conclusion and judgment card they have this reality check this wake up call and they say aha i know why this person is not speaking to me or aha i know why this person has been so distant it makes sense now you get what i'm saying once they get into that mode and they get into that energy and it's like oh okay you get what i'm saying so all right it says your true love is already part of your life it's safe to make the move you're considering okay what is that move taking a leap of faith toward you okay starting a new beginning with you healing with you <laughs> all right it says old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting all right underlying the energy is patience everything will unfold in divine timing okay divine timing may be sooner than you think with this knight of swords yeah, unhealed wounds, which seem to be childhood issues or different things like that. Okay, whatever this is, feelings of abandonment, fear of abandonment, fear of rejection. Okay, different things like that. New love, okay? A new love or recommitment to love is developing. Okay? All right, let us see. Protected. You are safe and divinely guided. So, I feel like the two of you are triggering each other. One person may be triggering, you know, in terms of like, oh rejection and the other person is triggering in terms of abandonment so the two of you heal that and realize your twin is never rejecting you because as far as they're concerned there's no one that compares to you ever and you are never abandoning them you're just setting boundaries the love is still there the respect is still there the adoration and all of that is still there okay you are safe and divinely guided. Underline the energy, go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Yes, because I feel like as this person goes through that ego death, or you go through your spiritual awakening, reawakening, ego death, whichever side you're on, it's going to take strength. It's going to take courage. It's going to take true bravery, you know, to ride it out. Okay, because it's not going to be easy. This swim flame journey is not easy at all. Okay. So let us see. Messages for our feminines. Yeah, forgiving and learning. This is your soulmate, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energies, okay? It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yes, this is your soulmate. I love that. I love these, yo. These love readings. <laughs> so beautiful, okay? We have free yourself. All right, free yourself from the doubt, the fear, the worry, all of that. Underlying the energy is engagement. Okay, so engagement is like this person wanting to, like I said, commit themselves to you or recommit themselves to you in, you know, a very serious way. We have attraction here. Okay. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. <clears throat> And let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Again, they want to be here to support you through whatever it is that you have going on, whatever it is that you need. This could also be how it is that you feel. You know, let's go slow. In the meanwhile, we'll be friends. Yes, we acknowledge the fact this is a past life relationship and connection. But in the meanwhile, while we're still getting acquainted with each other's boundaries, etc., let us just take it slow, right? You have known each other before. Underline the energy worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay? So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and haggards.